Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we are, and I actually have a list here, we are going to prep and spray the cam covers or uh, tappet covers, or rocker covers, depends how you what you refer to it as. We're going to clean the top of the head, so where the, the plugs sit on the top of the head, um, that's absolutely filthy, and we're going to sort that out. Once we're done with that, we're going to remove the flex plate because this engine came off an automatic vehicle, so no flywheel, but instead a flex plate. So we'll get that out of the way. And the reason for that is we now have an engine stand. So we're going to mount the engine onto that stand, which will make it easier to work on. And last but not least, there's a surprise, a really cool surprise. I think this is going to go a long way in getting us done on the build um, and yeah I don't want to give too much away you're gonna to have to wait for it awesome surprise coming up so let's get into it <laughs> Right, so we've got the rocker cover, tappet cover, cleaned up, ready to be sprayed. I've just masked off a couple of the bits. Um, I'm not worried if there's any spray that goes in under there. It's not really going to cause any issues. Got myself some engine enamel. Um, and yeah, the fun part, spraying. <laughs> This is what the, what do you call it, which part of the head, the top of the head, this is what the top of the head looks like after I've pressure washed it. There was a whole lot of, uh, I don't know, like a sawdust or something that was in there, it's come off now, so it's better. Um, on this one I started with the wire brush. I don't have the right size, I think I need a smaller, either a smaller, smaller wire brush or some sort of Dremel tool attachment that I can get into there. I can't pull the spark plugs off because obviously then the dirt is going to fall into the cylinders. So I'm going to make do with them in there. up with a mix of diesel and paraffin uh, using my little agitating brush to agitate it all and I'm hoping that this will help also loosen up the dirt that's in here I'll let it soak for a day or two if I'm impatient maybe less because it seems to be helping in the fuel tank it does seem to be dissolving 
the crap that's in there. Let's hope it works. The top of the head looks much better. The diesel has been sitting in here for about two or three days now. This one looks like there's a drain, so the diesel keeps draining out onto the floor. Uh, but these standing in there for about, I say, about three days now. Um, I'll do one last bit of agitation, stay it up a bit, and pour it out and see what it looks like after. I foresee me making a big mess here. But anyway. My life be like We're going to be removing the and what do you call it on the automatic boxes? Yes dog? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes. Okay, okay. Right, go from here. Move. Um, so remove the starter and then this, what do you call it? Do we call it a flywheel or no? Automatic box. All of those. Because we've now have, we now have an engine stand. So we can mount the engine onto the stand. And Guess what? Where is it? We've got a box and it's a fat boy box. And let's swap this camera around. So that's our box. We'll replace whatever seals and bearings and stuff that we need to. It looks like somebody has sprayed it, tried to kind of refurb it. And that's the L28 that came off the car with the box. And we've got a spare RB25 DET. This, I don't really know anything about this engine. I'm not sure if those are stock pistons or not. Either way, this is a normal DET motor and that is the Neo. So we'll use the Neo. Although this does look like it has been refreshed. The block has been painted and uh, the fact that the engine is in pieces, separate pieces, the head is in that packet. Um, it looks like there's been some work done on it. We'll still take the clutch and flywheel of this, because this was manual, and put it onto that motor. Um, yeah, so, fun. When all else fails, Use Google. So I found a video where a guy explains how to remove flywheel bolts. And I'll see if I can post a link to that. Well, wouldn't need to because I'm explaining it to you now. Basically, what he's done is put a bolt into the flywheel and one into where the gearbox would normally mount. Put a spanner in between. A spanner or a wrench in between. That should stop the flywheel sending you more and let's try it. <laughs> 